guys welcome back to my channel if you're new around here welcome my name is sophia and as you can see from the title today i'll be giving you like a get ready with me uh review on both the bh cosmetics by daisy marquez palette and a few other um kind of products that i've been using and that i kind of picked out uh from ulta that i've actually one of them is my first try like on camera so it's like a first impression type thing and then a few other ones i've been using throughout this whole week that i've been on spring break and i've enjoyed a lot so i really recommend some of them and then there's one product that i like talk about briefly that i just don't really like so it's just like my quick little opinion on those um few things and i hope you guys stay tuned till the end because towards the end i will go be going more in depth with the palette don't forget to give this video a like, hit the subscription button, and let's get started. Okay, so I've actually been trying to record and upload this video. This is my second time trying to record this video. Um, the first time, I think it was just way too long, and it was probably like 22 minutes long, and I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to post a video that long. And the second time... It it was just like since I use a natural lighting, it was getting so dark towards the end of the video. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to record that. E I'm not going to upload that either. But anyway, hopefully third time is a charm. As you can see from the title, we're going to do, we're going to be using um, the Daisy Marquez palette by BH Cosmetics. It is very already uh, very beat up because I have been using it. Um, like I said, this is my third time trying to record this video. And I also use it like even if I'm not recording. So... Overall, I'm going to tell you off the bat right now, this is a really good palette. I purchased it for $19 and um, and I think that was like on special because it had just come out and now it's at $23, I believe. She did go out of stock, but there's a, a date where they're going, they're going to be selling it again. Um, I got it off the BH Cosmetics website the day that it came out. And I told myself, I was just like, no, you know, I'm not going to get it um, because I already have so many palettes. But I was just like, you know what, like one more won't hurt. And I ended up getting it. And it's a really good palette, so I don't really regret it. And it has really like fun colors you could use, especially now that Easter is coming up. So I'll be using it for, for those occasions coming up too. Right now, I'm just setting my eyes with the um, shade right here called Naked. One of the bad things that I see um, from this palette, don't mind my hair, I just woke up. Um, anyway, that I see from this palette is that some of the colors, like the names of it, kind of just like don't show. So let's see, like right here, I don't know if you could tell, like this one doesn't have a color and then the color Vintage is kind of like coming off. So, um, that's the only bad thing. And then, another thing, like, I would like to point out is that there's a lot of fallout to this palette. Meaning, when I dip my brush into the actual shadow, um, there's a lot of, like, powder of that shadow all over, both in my eye and mostly in the palette. So, um... I mean, that's not something that really bothers me because I do clean uh, my eyes and apply concealer towards the end of like my whole eyeshadow thing. And that's the main reason why I do that step the way, the like the time that I do it because I see most like makeup artists that like they literally do their whole face and then they do their eyes towards the end. And I don't really like to do that because if I'm using a new palette, I don't know if the eyeshadow is gonna like give me like a lot of fallout where it's gonna ruin like the rest of my makeup so i don't really it doesn't really bother me that this palette has a lot of fallout um the palette itself is very very blendable and right now i'm using the color vintage right here it's one of the colors that the name's just kind of coming off um i'm using it i'm just dipping it and putting it in my crease and a little bit above but anyway, as well, as I was saying, this palette I've had I've used it probably like six times, maybe more already. And it's not my go-to palette because my go-to palette would be something that has a lot of nudes and um, shades I could just plop on my eyes and just 
go because most of the time I'm doing my makeup in a hurry. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I stopped. Like I haven't recorded in a long time. Um, most of the most of like the reasons is just because, like I said, I have been working a lot during this um, during the spring break. I literally worked every morning, so then, like I said, I'd have to be at work at eleven, and then I got out at three, and I already had makeup done, or I was just so tired that I just wanted to like take a shower and just like not have any makeup on my face, and that kind of just like progressed during during my winter during my winter break during my spring break um like i said i kind of just have been working every single day and have no time to record and if i did have time i kind of just wanted to use it to just chill um and i do apologize for that and also the times that i have been recording i really didn't have makeup like I didn't have setting spray, I didn't have a good concealer, um, my, I didn't even have like baking um, my setting powder either. So that kind of just made it even worse and I just lost motivation in recording. Right now I am using this brown shade right here in the name Coco. And I'm applying it in our outer corners of our eye eyelids. And now I kind of went to Ulta, I did a little makeup shopping spree, and I have a few um, few products I've been using throughout this whole week that like I see that are like really good and are worth the money and the purchase. So I'll be sharing that with you guys throughout this video. And now that I applied that color, I'm just going to blend it out just using that same brush. I'm gonna blend it out into most of our inner, like our middle eyelid, I guess, and then make sure it's blended in that crease with that color that we went in at the beginning. Now I'm gonna take uh, my usual Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm gonna take that flat brush, where'd it go, where'd it go, right here. I'm gonna take this flat brush right here and I'm just gonna apply um, concealer at the tips so that I could cut my crease. And this is just the regular trick that I've been using. But at this time I'm gonna um, apply concealer lightly. I'm not gonna try to like pack it in a lot because I'm gonna add, I'm not gonna add a shimmer. I'm gonna add an actual eyeshadow so I don't really want it to mix with that eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go in the shade Daisy right here. It's a really pretty teal color and I'm just gonna take um, the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH39, which looks like this, it's a little brush. And I'm gonna just apply that shadow to the concealer. It's turning very, very dark, and I don't know why. So I think I'm just gonna use my finger, like that. You see, these colors are so pretty. It looks white, but it's actually really teal. They're so pretty and they're so pigmented. There you go. I think it's turning dark just because of, I think that brush wasn't very clean to begin with. I'm just gonna keep adding with my finger until I get it most of it covered. Okay, now that that color is applied, I do know, I know that it looks a little crazy right now. So we're gonna go back in with um, that brush that we applied the dark shade in. Where'd it go, where'd it go? And I'm kinda just gonna blend it out a little bit just to make sure that the color is intensified. Um, recently I went to Ulta and I purchased the NYX Professional Makeup Glitter Goals Liquid Eyeshadow. And it looks like this. You can't really tell because it's still in the wrapping. But I purchased it because I haven't used liquid glitters yet. 
and I'm kind of very curious on how this works and if it'll, if I'll be able to use it because some stuff like I can't it just doesn't work out so it looks like this and I kind of got like a silver kind of and the applicator looks like this so it's a very thick applicator and I was trying to use it as like a liner for the top of like where the teal starts and that like burnt orange like starts too, like where, where they meet. So I'm going to need like a really fine brush and I think I'm going to go in with the normal brush that I use for um, my concealer when I cut my crease. Okay. I'm gonna try it off camera and then I'll be right back because if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna be pissed and yeah, it won't be pretty. So I'll be right back. This is the end product of that glitter eyeshadow and I feel like it could be a lot worse. Um, but you know, it's my first try, so you gotta cut me some slack. You can kind of tell if I like tilt my head. Okay, so what I did is I grabbed the brush that I told you guys about and I kind of just cleaned it off and I made it super, super like thin. And I would grab the applicator and I would just like dab my pencil brush thing on it just a little bit. Like I literally just grabbed like a little bit of product. And I would tap it in. I started in my inner corner and I would just tap like right where I wanted to place it. And I would kind of just follow like the line between the teal and that like burnt orange slowly I would just like tap my eye tap the, the applicator and so on and so forth so I'm gonna try my best to show you guys right now so I already have a little bit of product and I'm gonna just tap that color like that you can't really tell because it's barely anything but slowly you guys will see And then once I actually got the glitter on, I kind of just like dragged my pencil throughout my crease, grabbing a little bit more product. like that and this color is more intensified i mean this eye is more intensified than the other so i'm gonna add a little bit more product i think i grabbed too much and if you grab too much just clean it off with like a in my case toilet paper but whatever you have at at reach I really didn't use a lot of this product um, but maybe in another video so I think that's it for the look and now I want to share with you guys I've been using this Tarte Creeless Concealer and I think it just came out and I'm in the shade Fair Light Neutral 13N it's a really thick formula like when I apply it it's very thick on my skin but it covers so good it leaves my like under my eyelids so smooth and so pretty i really really recommend it i got it at ulta and i think it's like 23 bucks but it's so worth it i still use my other concealer the maybelline like my ride or die concealer for my eyebrows and to like place them on my eyelids but Oh, and to cut my crease. But for this, since it's a thicker consistency, it has a thicker consistency. You know what I mean. Um, 
I just use it for under my eyes. Okay. I'm gonna blend that out and then I'll be right back. I have started to use um, a new baking powder that I picked up also at Ulta. And it's from Revolution. It says it's a lux luxury baking powder in the shade Banana. And it looks like this. It looks like this. And, oh, I don't know if you can tell. Ugh, this lighting is just, there you go. It looks like that. And since I can't really like dip my, my um, sponge into the container, I just dipped it into like an old container that I had. And I've been using that, with my brush go? I've been using that to set my eyes. And the only bad thing that I see from this powder is that if you leave it on for too long, it kind of actually does leave like that yellowish, like tannish color in your eyes. So I recommend just applying it and literally waiting for like probably like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and then removing it because it does like stain, I guess. And so far when I've taken pictures, you can't see like the black, black, black flash, the, the flashback, which is good. And which is what I wanted for because the Master Fix um, by Maybelline, the one that I, I don't even know if I uploaded the video because I've recorded this video so many times. Anyway, in one of the videos, if I posted it or not, um, I talked about the Maybelline Master Fix, which I got at Walmart, and it's in the shade, well, it's the, like, the whiter one that's just, like, all white. It's not something that I recommend using because it does leave, like, when you take a picture with the flash on, it does leave, like, the white marks, and that's not very pretty, so this, the banana one, the Revolution one, doesn't do that, so... I really recommend it but like I said you kind of have to like remove it like right away because it will stain so actually I'm gonna take it off right now and just to take it off I use my Milani um, powder foundation and I kind of just rub it because it's all gone I rub it and then I take it off my eyes and if I want to set the rest of my face with that powder, I kind of do it step by step. So if I'm going to like cut my cheeks, then like I do my um, bronzer and then I cut the cheeks and then I wait for like 10 seconds and then I take it off and then I go set something else <laughs> because it does leave like a yellow stain. Okay, I'm going to um, do the rest of my makeup off camera. And I'll be right back to finish the kind of review tutorial type. Um, finish the review on this palette. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> like this look. I love the Daisy Marquez and BH Cosmetics palette. It's not very my like go-to palette only because like it really only has like two nudes I could work with like on a day-to-day -day basis but for like the easter that's coming up spring it does have a lot of like fun colors we can play with there's two rows of glitters and then two rows of mattes and like as you can tell like i really went into that purple because that purple is so pretty um but so far i give this like palette probably like a nine out of ten only because it does have a lot of fallout and i know a lot of people don't like that but for me, like, it's not really a problem. And then for the palette overall, it's very small and it's very light. The top of it is, like, magnetic. So it kind of just, like, sticks and it doesn't really fall out. Um, and then it has its own little mirror. And the, the palette, it has a slit where you place the mirror. And you have, like, your own little vanity. So it's, like, on the go type of thing. I don't really travel. So, I mean, it's a good palette. Like, not gonna lie. But... A lot of people say like the perks of it is like it's a really travel friendly. I haven't traveled so I wouldn't know. But if I do, I'd probably take it with me. Because like I said, it's really light. It has its own mirror and it'll, fo it'll fit perfectly anywhere. So I think that's it for today's video. Um, today I kind of just like 
aim for like a catching up with me you know and getting ready type of video where like i introduced a couple of the products that i've been using and i did like a brand new like kind of look with that eye shadow glitter and um that is it i have to uh finish this video really quickly and go get ready because i do work um, my spring break in, ends on Monday. I have to go back to class. So hopefully, like, class will give me more time to, like, record. Because I do have days where, like, I don't work. And, like, I get out of class and have nothing to do. So then I'll just end up recording more videos. So hopefully, I'll be able to get back on track with that. And I apologize again for um, being so absent in my recordings. But I'll try my best to continue and make more videos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, su please subscribe. And I'll link, link down my um, my social media accounts, my, so uh, my Twitter and my Instagram. So go follow me on that too. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.